Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wear. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. Annie wants to go outside. We better let Annie go outside. Crazy kitty. It's been nasty here for the past few days. But it'll be alright. It'll be alright. I gotta switch hands here real quick. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I'm trying to get my pockets pushed down where they belong. <laughs> Okay, so uh, today I want to talk about broken dentures. Now, a few people out there have broken either their top plate or their bottom plate by dropping it in the sink. And, you know, not sure what to do. Well, the simple fact is your dentist can send that back to a lab and get it repaired. Um, in most cases, they will take another mold because when they do the repair they can't do it exact they can line up all the teeth and stuff but they can't do an exact repair so what they do is they repair the denture put it back together make sure all the teeth line up the way they're supposed to then they grind out the entire middle of the denture and using that mold they put an, an, a hard reline in. So basically they replace the acrylic they ground out. That's what a hard reline is. A hard reline is where they you hear that pop out? They'll grind all this out of the middle almost down to the teeth. They'll make it paper thin and then they'll replace the acrylic to match the mold. So that's what a hard reline is. So um, when you break a denture, they can literally, um, my collar's not acting right, it's getting on my nerves. I really need an iron or something. <laughs> so what it is is they, you know, if you break a denture in two pieces, break it in half or whatever, they can generally repair that. If you break it in three pieces, as long as one of the pieces isn't too small, they can repair that. If you're missing a tooth, they can repair that. There's a lot of misconceptions about broken dentures. Everybody thinks that if you break a denture, you throw it in the trash, you have to go get a whole new denture. That's not the case. I would say... According to the doctors that I've spoken to in the labs that I've spoken to here, 99% of dentures can be repaired and relined to be just as strong and fit just as well or better than it did originally. Now with that being said, the price depends on the lab or your dentist or whatever you've got to go through to get that done. And in some cases, it's cheaper to just buy another denture. In some cases. So do a little research. Call your dentist or call your lab or whatever. If you break your denture, take the time to do a little research and find out, is it going to be cheaper to fix it or cheaper to buy a new one? It's kind of like if your car blows an engine. In some cases, it's cheaper to just buy another car than it is to replace the engine or have the engine rebuilt. Now that that's out of the way, I've been working really hard on the latest song that I wrote, changing a couple of words. Um, working with my friend Jason on doing some more background music. Um, my friend Isaiah has potentially found me a female singer that can harmonize with me in the chorus. I won't know until later down the road. Um, so with all that, uh, what I'm trying to do is make a master disc so that I can take it down and there's a production company here in town and they will run me off copies of that discs put the labels on them, put them in cases, the whole nine yards. Now that's not going to be cheap, but it's going to be a single and it's going to be for sale. 
So hopefully I can get all that done within the next month or two and we can get that out there. And hopefully all of you will buy it. <laughs> I'm thinking the price is going to be around five bucks. I don't know exactly yet because I have to figure out how much it's going to cost for shipping, how much it's going to cost for each disc. I got to figure all that out. So even, you know, whatever I sell them for will just basically be making up my money. It's not going to, I'm not going to be making a real huge profit off of this. But it's something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to get at least one song out there. And this last song that I wrote is, I just love it. I, you know, if you haven't heard it yet, go to my other channel and check it out. In the meantime, um, tomorrow's live premiere doing the denture fit reline on my top denture. You can do your reline right along with me. If you haven't done it yet, you can do that right along with me. I'll, I'll take you through it step one step at a time. We'll do the base reline and then you can go from there. Um, it'll be a live premiere, so I'll be in the comment box with you. In other words, it's already pre-recorded. I'll just, it'll be live. The video will come up live, and I will be in the comment box with you just like the last time. So it'll be really easy for me to answer questions and respond to comments and things like that. We're going to do this step by step all the way through the base application of denture fit. So if you haven't done your application yet or you've been putting it off because you're afraid you're going to do it wrong or whatever the case may be, jump on here at 2 o'clock central time tomorrow, May 9th, and you can follow right along with me as I do my soft reline, my denture fit reline. You can follow right along with me and do your denture fit reline right there with me. And like I said, I will be in the comment box with you. So join me for that. And in the meantime, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Keep smiling, keep trying, and please, never give up.